Hey everyone, and welcome back to a new video. It's your boy Yahya from VR Division, and today we're going to learn how to enable the 3D text plugin and create some 3D text inside Unreal Engine. All right, so to get started, go to Edit and go to Plugins, and here just search for 3D text or text 3D. This is a 3D text generator. Anything you type, it will appear in 3D and there are some amazing controls we can do on the bevel and whatnot. So enable this, restart your engine and once you do, go to the create menu here and type 3D or text 3D basically. It will find it under all classes. So click and drag and here you can see that we have a nice 3D text. Now, I prefer to have the create menu on the side here so I'll go to window and I will go to place actors and I right click dock to sidebar and anytime I need to create a 3d text now I type here just text and I can click and drag 3d text so let's click on the actor and let's go to where we have text and type welcome let's go to the modeling mode I just want to quickly make like a nice little box actually to place this on so for now i will be using this scale i will click here so when i change any value everything would change and i will set this to like 0.4 this should be okay for now there we go all right now we have a little base that we can start working on with. Send this to minus 80, 180. So here we have all these noise options starting with extrude. So any text you type here, you can set the extrude to something smaller or bigger. So now it's one as in units here. I don't think this is a one unit like a read Unreal Engine unit because one unit is one centimeter. So let's do a test real quick. So this is what one unit in Unreal Engine looks like. And this is basically one centimeter here. And this is what one unit here. So I think the default value here for one unit is what? Like 2.5? Yeah. So 2.5 in thickness for the extrude is one centimeter. I hope this changes in the future. But let's make it 10. I don't care about how many centimeters. I just care about whether it looks nice or not. And if you wonder how I just like did this, press Ctrl and middle mouse button and you can switch to any view, okay? There are tutorials on this on YouTube. Anyway, we have bevel. So I start with small number. I don't know why this menu keep appearing. It's so annoying every time I change the setting. But keep in mind this uh, text creator is in beta. So maybe that's why. So I press Ctrl and to change the sun a little bit so you can see better. This is amazing. So zero bevel, one, uh, it's applying many options. So maybe let's start with less uh, letters. Uh, that's for Haroon. Yeah, so the more text you have, the longer it's going to take to change any settings you might have there. And I really, really love this. Let's make a duplicate. I hold Alt and move this. And let's find an emissive material. It seems I don't have an emissive material, so... I'll make a temp folder. And here, let's make a new material. Let's make some neon effect. I press V to add the color parameter. And I press S to add scalar parameter. So hold S, then click with your left mouse button. Let's call this intensity. And let's hold M and click to add a multiply node. So we can multiply the color with the intensity and make an emissive color. And to make this material simpler, we can click in the material outside or the output node and switch the default let to unlet. This will disable all these and it will be just easier to render. Let's click yes, save it, and let's right click and create the material instance. MI, give it a name, assign it. Oh, we can assign it on six sides, it seems. Give it a color and give it also an intensity all right so here is an intensity so let's assign this on multiple faces and the 
Little pro tip for things like lumen, we should have big surfaces doing uh, in terms of if we, like we need to make an immersive material basically. So it's better to illuminate the area around it without noise. But also since Unreal Engine 5.1, we have much better uh, performance, I would say, and uh, immersive materials with less noise. Because the surface is small, we if we go away, it will disappear. But yeah, now we can do this. Meow. Let's see what else we have. So we have the extrude, the bevel, we have the bevel type, and that's interesting. So I think we can change the bevel, how it is happening in the edges with these parameters here. So by default, we're using convex. We can change to linear to see what it will, it will do. So you may want, when you get very close, to, to change this behavior. So here, in the console command, I will type clip plane. So here, r dot set near clip plane. Let's set this to 1, okay? And now we can see very close surfaces. Let's make this bigger so we can see better what will, uh, how the bevel changes and all. So we have half circle. Take a look. This is incredible. Yeah, there we go. There are some little mistakes. It's okay. We have one step. It's like graved. We have two steps. Let's increase this to like 1.5. We can also set the segments, as we can see here. So we can see that if we switch to isolate this, and I did that by setting the shortcut to show only selected, okay? And here, if we put this to one, two, three, and so on, to add more segments here. We just want one for now. And we also have the outline part that will make it empty from inside. So I'm press Alt 4 to switch back to let mode. And here is the meow in outline mode. The outline expand, be careful with this a little. So I think 0.5 the default value, let's keep it there. And here we have these materials. We have the front material, the bevel material, the extrude material, the back material, and also the font and the font options. So. The kerning, the line spacing, the word spacing, all of these are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can try them, but I'm gonna show you how we can change the font. So if you click here, you can select any of the existing fonts in your project. So I had to put Haroon, it made sense for this tutorial. If you want to import fonts, uh, you have the option between TTF and OTF. So if you just Google, um, reality free fonts you can find websites like this and then you can go in and search for a font that you want in this case let's say i want to try this save it and i will show it in the folder open the file put it here here is it's called scandal and i already made the folder here go to my asset click and drag here it will ask me if I want to create a new font asset. So it will create an asset for us. So let's click yes. This is the font and this is the font asset for it. What we will be able to select when we select this, for example, and if we go to font, currently the default option is Roboto. And now we have this font, the one I got earlier. So wait, where is our font? This font. Let's go. Yeah. Look at this. Let's turn off the outline. Nice. And let's see the font I also get. And let's see what else we have. So cool to experiment with this. It's like cool. Wow. Check this out. I was curious about like fonts with things like this. Oof. Now that's cool. So yeah, we should end it here, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, all that 
good stuff. It's really helpful. If you want to see uh, other tips, other tricks, leave that in the comments. All right, so I hope you found today's video useful. I would really appreciate it if you leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Haroon he will hunt you if you want. And uh, I will see you guys uh, very soon. Take care.